starting off with the reveal, you guys. Welcome to my new bedroom! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually in Palm Springs this week celebrating a friend's birthday, which is so exciting. But I went to my memory card this morning to put the intro in the video. Totally forgot to film the audio for the intro, which is pretty necessary for an intro, you know. But you guys, look at this bedroom. How pretty is this? I love that artwork up there in the bed too. I love the bed frame. But besides the point, let's not focus on this bedroom because we are focusing on my bedroom today. I am sharing with you guys a full bedroom makeover of my own bedroom. And I know some of you guys are probably like, didn't you just do a makeover like I feel like I've seen your room a bunch and I mean like that's kind of true but it's also kind of not I did a makeover of my room about two years ago where I did the entire room makeover in refresh and then this past November I did a little refresh where I updated the paint color and just changed some of the bedding and some of the decor in the space but I've been really dying to do like a full refresh in my bedroom because I always see how much potential my bedroom has and I'm so grateful to have such an incredible room like the arched window all of the windows the flooring the size and the inspo really was drawn from a rug that Laloy actually sent me and it is incredible. They sent me two new rugs and I was going to put one in my living room and maybe use one somewhere else but when I saw this one for my bedroom I was like I need this in my room. It is so so pretty but there is a lot in today's video so I hope that you guys enjoy it and grab some inspo maybe for a DIY project, a color palette, bed styling, wall molding, there's a lot. But we should probably go ahead and dive on in and I'm gonna share with you guys what the space looked like before. So here is my bedroom in its current state. I absolutely love my bedroom. Like I am so grateful I have a room like this. It is large, it has beautiful lighting, it has tall ceilings, this window, which I also just got it tattooed on my arm. It's the same exact window, you guys. Check out my Instagram for close-ups if you're curious. This is what my room's current kind of state looks like. And the biggest change that we did last time was actually update the color of the board and batten. So the first color it was when I did it was a dark green. Then it ended up going to this kind of charcoaly, dark, dark purple color for fall. And now I want to change it again. But I'm also going to be adding some additional elements to the board and batten. So this morning I actually ended up heading to Lowe's and picking up some shoe molding. Now this is what it looks like. I will link below the exact one that I got for you guys because it was a challenge figuring out which one I wanted and which one I, you know, needed for the space. But this is a three quarter inch shoe molding and the thickness of the boards on the board and batten are also three quarters of an inch so this is going to be able to essentially be nailed right into the board and batten and we're going to cut them at 45 degree angles so it looks like a picture frame on the insets of the board and batten and then once it's all wood filled and painted it's going to look seamless and i am so excited and i also want to bring the paint this time whatever color i choose up to the window frames as well because i love how i did that in my bathroom and i feel like it just elevates the ceiling even more i also picked up a new miter saw this morning and here she is in all of her glory so my other miter saw that I have is a huge one and it's like I leave it outside it's really big it's really heavy and I wanted a small one that I can just use indoor for like trim projects so I picked this one up this morning at Home Depot a hundred dollars I am gonna get the most use out of this ever so this is what we're using to cut all of our molding and let's get started we're going to essentially start over here kind of cut a piece for the side cut a piece for this side and then cut a piece for the top and then nail them right in to our boards if you've been around for a while and saw my first bedroom makeover we actually ended up doing a diy board and batten wall which i'll definitely put this on a card above if you guys want to watch how i did this but after i created the board and batten wall i ended up painting it two different colors i did the first one a dark green and then i did like a dark purpley black which i just shared with you guys but now what i'm going to do is actually add molding pieces onto our already done board and batten wall to turn it into a completely new look Now all I'm doing is going through and using the shoe molding and cutting it at 45 degree angles to fit on the inset of each of the board and batten sections that I created. So I'm actually measuring every single element that I'm adding and just going over to my miter saw, which is just in my bedroom, cutting them at a 45 degree angle and using my brad nailer to nail them directly into the boards that I had already applied to the wall. And I know that that was a mouthful there, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory once you see what I'm actually doing. The only tricky part is just making sure you're cutting it at the proper 45 degree but once you do a couple of them you're totally going to get it down you guys like this is not a hard process at all and I really love how I was able to turn a board and batten wall into almost that kind of French picture frame molding look as well without having to fully demold the wall so you're kind of getting two looks out of one Ooh. 
We have a little bit of a mess going on here, but not too bad, honestly. I'm just gonna vacuum that up, and you guys wanna know something crazy is I purchased 12 trim boards, and these are the remaining pieces. I used absolutely everything, and I got the perfect amount because we have covered the whole wall in our trim sections. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just go through and fill any cracks or nail holes with some wood filler, and then I'm gonna head to Lowe's. I am in the mood to get this all painted today as well. Very ambitious doing the trim and painting today, but you know what, we are gonna do it, so let's get to filling the nail holes. Okay guys, it is a venti coffee kind of a day today, if you know what I mean. But I got the pleasure of seeing the wall in natural light this morning, and you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. I love the color, lamb's ear came through in this bedroom, it is such a pretty neutral shade. The molding turned out incredible, it was actually a very, very simple and easy process, it was just really repetitive. Now we need to go ahead and put the new rug in the space today. It is going to be probably the biggest change in here because it takes up quite a large area on the floor, and I ended up picking up two different options from Laloy. They are my absolute favorite rugs, I'm going to share them with you guys in just a minute here, but I've had so many Laloy rugs throughout my apartment. I've done a couple in the living room. I've done a few in the dining room. You guys have seen them countless times. Favorite, favorite brand for rugs, but let's go ahead and bring them in. I want to share with you guys the two that I ended up selecting between. I already went ahead and unrolled these rugs last night because I was just so curious. Whenever I get a rug like this, it's like honestly Christmas, you guys. So let's see. I'm just going to lay it out on my bed so we can get... Oh! I haven't seen it in natural light yet. It is so pretty, you guys. Look at that. This is the Billy O1. Honestly, like. <laughs> should we put this as a duvet? Yeah, I think we should. I don't even think it needs to be like the rug. Because <laughs> it's kind of statement y. Ah, uh, you guys, look how stunning this rug is. And the finish on it, it's like almost like a chenille. Like, it's so soft. Ink and Salmon is the colorway, and this is the Billy 01. I'll link both these rugs for you guys in the description box below. But I actually got two rugs from my favorite collections by them, which is the Billy Collection and the Georgie Collection, which let me go ahead and bring in the other rug. Okay, so here is the other rug. Now, this one's a bit lighter. So then we have this rug here from the Georgie collection, and it is so beautiful as well. It has these kind of like dark maroon tones in it, but it also has a lot of warmth, which I love because our wall is a little bit of a warm tone. So I actually don't know which one I want to go between. I actually want to pop both under the bed and see them because the bed's going to take up a majority of the rug. So let's do that first. Here is our first rug. This is the one from the Billy collection, and I love it. It is so Beautiful in here, you guys. Look how stunning that looks. This is the first option from Laloy, but let's go ahead and try the second. And this one right here is the Georgie rug. I love like the Bordeaux color in here and also the light tan, which ties back to our wall over there. Now, of course, some of the furniture in here doesn't match the style, but we are gonna be changing out the headboard. So for now, the rug is looking amazing. We're gonna keep that in place, but I do wanna go ahead and swap out our headboard because you guys look, I broke my headboard. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually broke the spindles on this right side. When I was filming a TikTok where I remove everything from my room, I broke it. And ever since, it has not been the same. It is higher on this side, lower on the right side. It bothers me every single day, you guys. And I got a new headboard at the thrift store, actually, when I was back home with my parents. And I wanna bring it in here, remove this old one, and set it up. You guys, look at my broken spindle. Like, it's so, it's so broken.
The headboard is up. It's fastened to the bed really nice and securely. I know it doesn't look secure, but it is. Do not worry. And I just love it, you guys. I do wish, ideally, it was maybe like two inches shorter, so a little bit more of the top of our molding showed. However, I can't be sad about it. It was a $20 vintage brass headboard. I've been talking about how I've needed new bedding for my bedroom for like months on my Instagram, and I'm never able to find anything that I love because I've had the same bedding since I moved into this apartment. Same exact bedding as the first makeover in this room. So I got some new stuff finally, and we're going to add it to the bed. I have actually had this humongous CV2 rattan pendant light ever since I did my parents' kitchen makeover, if you guys remember. I ordered both the lights because they were on a major sale and I didn't know which one I wanted to utilize in their kitchen, was gonna return the one I didn't want, but I loved this pendant so much I had to bring it home. And it's been in my room for like a month or in my little like studio prop room. And I'm kind of thinking about adding it to this space, you guys. Like I feel like it would add such a unique vibe. And I think this one just has so much more style. Good morning, guys. I have had quite the morning. It is now 2.30 and I've been working on this room since about 8 a.m. Nothing has really worked out as planned. Let me give you a rundown of my day. So I've had a real tree in my room for a while and I wanted to get a new one for this area here, but I went to two different nurseries this morning and couldn't find anything that I liked, you guys, which was so sad. However, I did find this great pot at Lowe's. It was $30 and I thought, you know what? I could paint this. It's not my favorite color to start. I'm gonna keep the olive tree because it's what fills the space nicest the best at the moment. And I did go ahead and style the bed yesterday as well, which I love so much with the headboard. I did a little bit of different styling this morning. And last but not least, I left my vlog camera at the nursery that was quite far away, so I had to go back and get it. So now we could start. While I was gone, Marie kindly taped off my door area and also my closet door. I'm gonna actually go through and paint both of these the same color as the wall, that lamb's ear color, because I feel like it'll bring some continuity to the space. I actually ended up removing the sconces that we had up here just to change up the vibes in here. I've had the sconces, of course, since doing my room. I haven't really changed it very much. And I got these two table lamps for $5 each at a thrift store. However, I think the blue and the high gloss of them just make them look way too modern and just not as organic as this space is feeling to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them. I actually have this, this spray paint color here. It's a matte dark sage color and I thought that would add some color still but matte it and hopefully it'll change the appearance but I love the shape of them. Okay, those look so much better. Actually, they look bright blue on camera. I swear in person, they are the perfect shade of like a darker matted down teal. They are perfect. Yesterday, I realized that I never shared with you guys which rug I opted for, which was the Billy rug from the Amber Interiors collection. This rug is just stunning, you guys. It looks like an authentic vintage rug. It has such pretty colors in it. The colorway of this one is ink and salmon, and I'm actually using this as like the inspo for the whole space. And I kept that in mind when I was out shopping yesterday for bedding, so I got this beautiful like golden brown duvet cover. It's such a nice color, and it's linen, so pretty and I mixed it up with this great blanket that I got on Etsy, a couple of really cute throw pillows, and that's kind of the bedding styling that I have so far. Of course, this may change in a bit, but that is where we're at. It is a little later, it's 7.43 at the moment, and I am driving to Cerritos, California. Keep in mind, I have a birthday dinner at 8.30. I am racing to Cerritos because you guys, I ended up finding two accent chairs that 
offer up to replace the two that are in my room currently, which I'm definitely keeping. I love the shape of those and how comfortable they are. I do want to reupholster them in the future though. However, I found two accent chairs on offer up from Target, new in box, Studio McGee collection with a pattern on them that will fit perfectly in the space for $180. And I messaged the guy and he still has them in his storage set. He said, if I can get there before eight, I can have them for one. 80, which is so exciting, $90 a chair, and they retail for $2.99 each. So I'm driving there to get them right now, and then I'm gonna just be a little late to the birthday dinner because priorities, priorities, you know? We got them. Do not look at my dirty trunk. This is a life of Lone Fox, but we have the chairs, and they look so pretty. We even opened them. The guy was so cool. 180 for both of these, you guys, and they're gonna look so good. Just did some super simple dresser styling. Now, I wanted to keep it really simple because last time I allowed myself to have a basket down here and I just overfilled it with junk. So I'm like, I'm not letting myself put anything on top of the dresser. Now, this right here is actually a brand for cattle. Like, it's a cattle brander. And then I just ended up using it as a candlestick holder though because I really like the twisted base of it. Did some books here with a little bust, a candle. Now, this is actually a stone bowl and I picked this up at Rolling Greens. It was only $40 and it's like 40 pounds. I'm gonna pour sand in here and put a little incense stick, which is gonna be so cute. I actually saw Amber Interiors do that and I thought it was such a clever idea. And then of course, Amber Interiors book right here and these really cute little candles and sage. So that is our dresser. And of course I have a frame on my TV, which I've had on here for quite a while. A lot of you guys know that I have a real plant. I've had this one for quite a while and I really like it. It's still so cute and I've kept it alive for two years. So I thought I'd give it a new home by putting it in this basket here. I have this African stool that I got at the flea market a while back as well. Maybe I'll just elevate it to kind of increase the height of my plant a little bit. Look how cute that looks. And you guys, I think we are all done with my bedroom. I am so, so happy with the outcome of it. I am looking at it right now and I cannot wait to reveal it to you guys. I went for just a brighter, airier color palette in here, but I did still want something grounding and depthy in the space. So that's why I added the Loi rug. I just think this one is perfect for the space. If you guys have never had one of these Loi rugs in your life, you have to check them out. I'm gonna link both the ones that I shared with you guys in this video. Video, and I'll also link some of my other favorite ones in the description box below. But I really pulled my color palette from the rug. I think that is such a great starting point if you don't really know what vibe or what style you want for your space. But that is something I love doing is starting with a rug as my base and this one was perfect. So I cannot wait to share this with you guys and I'm going to reveal to you the bedroom in three. I do that every time. Two, one. Just kidding, I thought of one more thing to do. I woke up this morning and the height of the headboard is bothering me so much. It's covering all of our beautiful trim work. So I went to my tool bag and my dad got me this Ryobi saw thing. Don't know exactly what it's called. Reciprocating saw, that's what it's called. He got me this saw for Christmas. I got this blade this morning for cutting metal and we're going to chop the bottom of the headboard off. And I probably should stop waving this around my head.
you have it, you guys. That was my bedroom makeover, and I hope that you enjoyed this one. I've gotten the opportunity to sleep in the space a couple of times before coming to Palm Springs, and it is just such a vibe in there at night, you guys. Like, seeing the round rattan pendant light in the air, and just the dresser styling, and the bedding color, and we cannot forget about the rug. That really grounds the space. It adds so much visual interest, and I really use it as the entire color palette for the space as well, and kind of like the vibe I was going for, sort of that vintage aesthetic. And if you're in the market for a new rug, I highly suggest checking out Laloy, you guys. I'll link below the two I shared in today's video in the description box, but they have them all over Amazon. Super affordable and such high quality, and their designs are always impeccable, so I highly recommend them. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I should probably go ahead out and jump in the pool with everyone because they are currently out there, but I will catch you all in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week, and you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It is just Lone Fox Home for a bunch more behind the scenes content. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.